Thank you for joining me in this presentation today. This video is one of a series of introductory presentations created to show off some of the wonderful features of TimeSensor Legal. Every feature in TimeSensor Legal was carefully engineered to save time and unnecessary work. In this 10-part series, each presentation builds upon a preceding video. We recommend watching each presentation in the order they were created at least once. In order to show you TimeSensor Legal and its core functionalities, we have prepared a little demo scenario comprising of a small lawyer's office with just a few employees. Bear in mind that TimeSensor Legal can just as easily scale to much larger firms and hundreds of employees. This demo assumes that the date is April 1st. So let's begin. In the previous video, we saw that TimeSensor Legal helped keep Michael informed when something like a fax didn't reach the recipient. Michael worked on a divorce contract quite a bit and got through four versions as we last left him. Okay, now let's suppose Michael believes he's done with his divorce contract. Everything seems perfect and he hasn't any more changes to add. Now what Michael would like to do is send this contract to Simon. If you recall, Simon was the business source. So it would be nice to give Simon the opportunity to take a look at the final contract and ask him to give his opinion. TimeSensor Legal has the features that allow for workflow functionalities. For this, Michael can use this action button here to start an approval process. This command brings up a window which allows Michael to start the approval process. He'll start first by getting an approval from Simon. And then Erna has to verify that the appendages are all correct. So after Simon has given his approval, we'll send the document over to Erna. And after each of those two have approved the document, Michael would like to be informed that the document is ready. So we'll put a, maybe a short message here. And Michael can start the approval process. Now you see that the status of this document is in circulating. And where is this document? Well, we'll log out as Michael and log back in again as Simon. Remember, Simon is the first one targeted to get this document. And as you see, Simon has the blinking alert informing him that he has a ticket that has arrived. And in viewing the ticket window, it says, please approve. Simon opens the ticket. He can now open the document itself. Simon can change the document if he wishes or he can click here to open the sidebar and simply make a comment. Everything is okay for Simon, so he closes his draft and approves it. His ticket disappears. Everything is done. Let's log out. Next step, Erna. Remember, the second person targeted to get the document is Erna. Erna again gets a message informing her that a ticket has arrived. She opens her inbox, opens the contract, and notices that something does need to be appended. This PDF here is actually missing. And with a drag and drop, she appends it to the document, adds a comment, closes the document, approves the document, and she's done. Okay, back to Michael. Michael gets a ticket now because the draft circulated and has been approved. We see that the status has changed. It is now approved. Michael opens a document sees what has been done by his colleagues, and now has the opportunity of printing or faxing or emailing this document directly out of TimeSensor Legal. Michael chooses not to print this document right now, but to rather simply archive it. The draft disappears from here and is no longer a work in progress. It is finalized and sitting here in the archive. We can see the document 
with the appendages that have been added by Erna. Double clicking here and we can see the contract. Double click here and we can see the addendum. So everything is here. By the way, the original draft has not been deleted. These display filters are set in such a way that the finalized drafts are not shown. If one wishes to access any draft for some reason, simply changing the filter so the drafts are shown again is a simple click away. This concludes the ninth video of our series. We hope you are enjoying this brief introduction to Time Sensor Legal. We intend to keep these videos short, interesting, and easy to assimilate. In this video, we have seen an example of how versioning and the workflow in a team manages documents. This is a very powerful feature of Time Sensor Legal. Nothing was hard to set up to accomplish these tasks. In fact, it couldn't have been any easier. If you do not have Time Sensor Legal in your office, time is being wasted and time is money. Time Sensor can pay for itself. In our last and final video in this series, we'll cover some powerful security features and finally summarize all of the previous nine videos. So goodbye for now, we'll meet again in the next video.